Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how we cover under eye circles. I know a lot of you had this question on how we can cover up the under eye circles and this is what we'll be doing. As always, I always start by applying the makeup base. This is our instant light makeup base and I make sure I spread it really good on the skin. Starting with the Divine Matte Liquid Foundation with brush number 35, which is our foundation brush. I'm using the Divine Matte Liquid Foundation in number 45. It's kind of an orangey undertone that will really give her a very nice tan. It will blur her skin and hide any imperfections that I want to camouflage. This is a buildable coverage foundation, so in case you need to add more coverage, you can definitely do so. I always make sure to keep the foundation very soft on the skin. Next, I'm gonna use the concealer, and I'm using the concealer in number 2.5. It's an orange undertone concealer, and this is extremely important to know that. It's a full coverage concealer, and I never use color correctors so that's why I created in this concealer the color correction inside the pigment of the concealer so this is an orangey undertone concealer that will directly camouflage correct and highlight your under eye area if you've noticed I also added a little bit on her chin and forehead using a dry beauty blender extremely important to have it a dry beauty blender I then tap to blend the concealer into her skin. Using a dry beauty blender will make it so easy for you to blend and at the same time not remove from the pigment. Next I'm gonna use the filter effect loose powder and I'm using it in number 0.3. Again the color correction in this powder is a little bit orangey or yellowish so this will also help me camouflage her under eye area without using any color correction. I'm gonna add more dimension to her skin by adding some blush. I'm using the, uh, I actually forgot, but I think this is the Becca bronzer. Yeah, it is the Becca bronzer with brush number 14. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of dimension so the contouring will be only with the bronzer. I'm gonna start now with her eye makeup. And I'm gonna try to add some more reddish and orangey colors this will also reflect the kind of makeup finish that you want so knowing that she does have under eye circles that we perfectly covered but it's also very important then when you complement it with the proper eye color in makeup it will also fade out perfectly so this is also one of the tricks that I usually do so using orangey and bronze colors on your eye makeup with your eyeshadow will perfectly also camouflage any imperfections that you still have in terms of color so I'm not gonna tell you the step by step because I think it will be so obvious for you now to watch and see how I build usually the intensity of my eye makeup I'm using the heat palette from Urban Decay one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes ever and I usually try as much as possible to always complement shimmer and matte colors together on the eye because I think that they perfectly match and they give more dimension to your eyeshadow. Just adding a little bit of a pop color on the corner of her eye knowing that her skin color is a little bit tanned so basically adding a little bit of a pop color in the corner of the eye will help your makeup to pop and look really flattering. defining her eyes with a very thin eyeliner that I'm going to blend after so that I don't really emphasize on having a very harsh lines with the eyeliner I'm then blending it with a black eyeshadow which is from Melt Cosmetics just to blend it very gently very close to the roots of her lashes I do the same thing on the other side so it's an extremely thin eyeliner just on the I don't know how thin it is, but basically it's not that visible or harsh. 
this is what I want it to be very well blended and soft I'll do this the same thing sorry on the under eye area again complementing the orangey peachy color that will really also as I told you help me camouflage any imperfections in case I still do have some transparency in the covering of the under eye area in this case I don't because as I told you our concealer is a full coverage concealer and the color correction is already in the pigment this is what I really emphasized on when creating this concealer so it will really correct your under eye area perfectly so I added again a little bit of black inside the eye so that I give her a more intense look. I'm gonna finish the makeup with filling her eyebrows. I usually like to always go with a very natural form for the eyebrows and I try as much as possible to keep it natural with her strokes from the beginning of her eyebrow. This will give her a very natural look for the eyebrow and it's not gonna give her any harsh lines we will finish with adding some lashes and these are from lily lashes sorry guys i just had a phone call that i need to take while adding the lashes <laughs> finishing up with lipstick with this kind of makeup i always prefer to go with a very natural lip color that will keep the focus on the eyes this is from Mel Cosmetics also and a little bit of a lip gloss from Tarte that I usually prefer to let it fade. A highlighter that needs to be orangey goldish colors so that it also keeps the tone of the skin very soft and very warm so that you don't have any ashy colors on the skin especially if you're hiding or camouflaging. The under eye circles so here's the final look i hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching keep commenting and don't forget to subscribe